Hi, I'm Pastor Matthew again, and it's good to see you for our teaching series, Words We Used to Say Around Here. I'm sitting at the very back of the sanctuary next to a piece of furniture that you've probably walked by a bunch of times, and if I'm quiet enough, you can hear it. That's right, you're hearing the flowing water of this baptismal font, baptismal fountain in the back of our sanctuary. And you've probably walked by it. We don't often have baptisms back here, although we've had a few. This baptismal font reminds me of one of the oldest documents that we have as evidence of early Christianity. It's called the Didache, and it's the oldest document outside of the Bible that shares something about what early Christians did. And this document tells us about how they practiced baptism. And it says that baptisms should have been practiced with what we do today, baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But also it said that the water used for baptism was important in this ritual. So it said that the water should, number one, if possible, be in living water is the, the use of the, of the word in the text. But I think they mean flowing water, like a river or a stream. Uh, but if that's not available, then really cold water was important. Uh, I, I think a shock to the system was important. And then finally, if that wasn't practical, warm water could be used. But this cold water is something that's available to us. And this symbol that we have in the back of our sanctuary of a rock and water flowing out of it comes right out of Exodus. When the people of Israel asked God for help and Moses struck his staff to the rock and living water came out. So today we have living water all around us. Whether you live near a stream or a brook, it doesn't matter. All we need to do is turn on the tap fountain, splash our fingers with some living water, sprinkle it on our forehead. You can use the sign of the cross and we can remind ourselves that we're baptized into living water in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Indeed, we are filled with living water and it calls us and sustains us every moment of our lives. So be like the early Christians from the Didache, splash yourself with some living water today and remember that you are a baptized child of God, full of living water, sustained by living water and called into the world to live as people of faith. We'll see you next time.